Hi everyone, welcome to my project showcase, A Voice of Distress, a computational linguistic exploration of political depression during COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Tilin Liu. I am currently an MA student at the University of British Columbia. This research revolves around the emergence of user-generated social media text expressing political depression, which I will go by PD in my presentation during the COVID-19 pandemic in China. But what is PD? Is it a clinical state that requires professional intervention? American clinical psychologist Dr. Robert Lawson raised the term political depression in his article in 2017. He defined PD as maybe a clinical condition that meets APA criteria for depressive disorders. It includes symptoms for major depression disorders in DSM-5, as well as additional symptoms like feeling losing control over lives. He mentioned that there should be political causes that are either specific or abstract for PD. However, the article was not published on a peer-reviewed journal. Another canonical text in this area is Setkovich's book, Depression and Public Feeling, in which she studied the political side and causes of depression. Another body of research focused on collective discontent or societal-centered discontent, which refers to a sense of gloom focused on abstract collective level. Normally, people who feel collective discontent can still report high personal well-being because collective judgment does not influence personal life. Thus, based on previous studies, here we raise three hypotheses about what is PD. First, it is highly related to the COVID-19 pandemic Secondly, PD is no longer a state of collective discontent, but a mental status that is influencing personal life and well-being. And lastly, the symptom of PD may align with major depression disorder at the clinical level. So for the research, I first uh, scraped original Weibo text that mentioned political depression posted between January the 1st, 2020 and February 28th, 2023 as my corpus. Then I calculated word frequency, word similarity, and collected somatic symptoms of PD. Thirdly, I applied a sentiment analysis model retrained on emotional Weibo text. And lastly, I used a Chinese linguistic inquiry and word count system to investigate the pronoun preferences in the corpus to see whether it aligned with findings in major depression disorder. Here is a statistic overview of my corpus. The number of posts made in 2022 was significantly higher than in other years, which may be related to the massive lockdowns in Shanghai in the spring of 2022. In the list of the most frequent words in the corpus, we can see that daily life is the second most frequent word. Other words indicating Dr. Lawson's definition and indicating the COVID-19 pandemic are also very frequent. Applying the positive pointwise mutual information method to the top 200 most frequent words in the corpus, we can receive a word co-occurrence matrix, which is visualized in the graph at the left. Based on the co-occurrence matrix, using cosine similarity method, I calculated word similarities. At the right are the most semantically related words to PD in the corpus, we can see that social media words, COVID-19 words, and personal life words are all highly related to PD. Here are the most frequent somatic symptoms that I've found in the corpus. Symptoms marked in yellow, like insomnia, of fatigue, uh, hypersomnia, and diminished sexual desire. Um, correspond to the SM5 MDD diagnostic criteria, while the rest correspond to the research of somatic symptoms of MDD. The corpus showed a strong negative emotion in sentiment analysis. Furthermore, for the subcorpus, which are the Weibo entries, involved positive emotion words, it still showed a strong negative emotion in the text. Lastly, the linguistic inquiry and word count results shows that the corpus has a significant preference for first-person and first-person singular pronouns. The results are consistent with previous research on pronoun preferences in the writings 
of MDD patients. The above results assessed and supported our hypothesis on PD. The PD on Chinese social media is highly related to COVID-19. It is a mental status that is beyond collective discontent, impacting personal life and well-being. Also, it presents similarities to diagnosed MDD, which indicates a call for professional intervention. We also find that a PD may be highly related to usage of social media, since social media words are highly frequent and related to PD in the corpus. Plus, our data was collected on social media itself, so it could also be a bias. For the future studies, I would like to take some other NLP methods to do some more text minings in the corpus. I would also like to take the sociological perspective to study PD as a social mentality or as a guest. Lastly, I would like to dig into the relationship between PD expression and media and we media with some discursive analysis and network analysis methods. That's all for my presentation. Thank you so much for listening.